Hey, it's your boy Crypto Blood, and welcome to another episode of My Two Satoshis. It is 9 11 2020. Shout out to one of my YouTube subscribers, Smooth Talk and Hank, for the song request, Thundercat. Them changes. I like this one right here. Very soulful. Almost the BGs type style. I like this here. Thanks for the song request. Finally getting around to those non premium member song requests, and you were up next. That was about six months ago. But he requested, I play it. Hope everyone's doing well today, and welcome to another episode. I'm getting sick of talking about sushi. I love the platform. I'm making tons of money on it daily, but I'm getting sick of talking about it. But every other day, it seems like it's something new. Today, looks like the founder, remember, guy. Chef Nami, who uh, took all the dev money from the project. That was about 15, 14 million dollars worth at that time when he sold sushi. Well, guess what? He's decided to return the money. And uh, interesting turn of events. We'll look at his tweet. Sushi saw a pop of about 15, 13 percent, something like that today. So we'll take a look at all of that here in a second. That was pretty crazy. We'll also take a look at DeFi being an outperformer against Bitcoin in the next five years. And this is from Pantera Capital CEO Dan Moorhead. Uh, and you know what? I think I've actually said this on my channel. When I saw this headline, I was like, yep, someone else gets it. So I definitely wanted to cover that today. We'll see what he's saying in detail regarding this outperformance by DeFi against Bitcoin. I couldn't agree anymore. I couldn't agree anymore. And I just want to let you guys know that other smart people in the industry are thinking this as well. This should help you prepare for the future. What direction this crypto space is going. And I only see it going in the direction of DeFi and gaming gaming as well but DeFi is definitely i think at this point now going to take that leaderboard as far as market cap growth within the total crypto space so again we'll look, look at that out of coin telegraph and then lastly this is kind of on the flip side the owner of masari which is a data site for crypto is saying that the DeFi bubble will pop soon so i want to give you guys both sides of the spectrum and you guys can make your own decision. I'll give you my two Satoshis on both. But all three articles coming up on today's episode of my two Satoshis. Let's get it. But before we start, if you guys find these types of videos informative, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And click that bell to receive more videos like this. And before I get started, just to remind everyone, this evening I will be doing a live stream of the winner for that 2000 telos giveaway this week all thanks to douglas horn for matching my 1000 telos giveaway so it's going to be an extra gift extra bonus this week for those who have participated by clicking that link in the description below creating yourself a telos account seeing how the whole ecosystem works it's amazing and i think you'll really like it and this is one way to get your introduction by getting 2000 telos so follow the link in the description below leave telos account name and hashtag telos in any of my videos under any of my videos i should say and you are automatically entered to win up until the point where i actually do the live stream giveaway this evening so you still have time i would say for the next two three hours still got a chance to win so make sure you do that i'll be doing that every two weeks let's take a look at this heat map we've got going on today bitcoin up slightly trading at 10,333 bucks ethereum up 1.5 percent at 370 bucks few red ones though bitcoin cash is down almost one percent link is down even more today trading down 1.6 percent at twelve dollars and 38 cents i think those are great buys those prices look good people can't time the bottoms but you can surely get close tezos down 1.4 percent today litecoin is up one percent trading at 48 dollars and 96 cents eos up 0.67 percent at two dollars and 78 cents tron is up 2.8 percent today so overall kind of mixed bag today to be honest with you guys looks like more red than green but hey that's just me eyeballing it but the first article i want to look at is this comment by pantera capital ceo about DeFi outperforming Bitcoin in the next five years. Man, I totally agree with that. It says here that Dave Moorhead is convinced that DeFi will outperform Bitcoin in the next five years. In a recent interview with Cointelegraph, Moorhead pointed out that despite the poor performance of Pantera's altcoin funds in 2019, the situation has flipped in the last few months due to the explosive growth of decentralized finance protocols and tokens. So at the end of August, Pantera's digital assets fund was up 123% year to date. The world was awakened with the DeFi capital has flowed into the space, he said. According to the fund manager, Bitcoin has already established itself as digital gold and an effective store of wealth. 
Therefore, he believes its upside potential is relatively limited. It maybe could go to a million, he said, but that's really the edge of possibility because you get into a number that's 20 trillion and all money on earth is only 100 trillion. But I'm thinking at that point, if Bitcoin were to be a million dollars, all money would have, you know, inflated much higher than 100 trillion, right? Probably in the quadrillions at that point. But at any rate, he's saying on the other hand, DeFi is still in its infancy and largely undervalued considering its potential to disrupt traditional finance sectors. Hence, its huge potential for appreciation. He said it's much more like the entire DeFi space goes up 100x over the next five years than Bitcoin. I mean, how can you, anyone out there, not agree with that? It's like saying that the banking system will never be bigger or would have never been bigger than the gold market. There are many areas in finance that have a bigger footprint than gold. And that's going to be the same thing with Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is not going anywhere. It's a great uh, safe haven overall. I think in the you know longer you zoom out five, 10 years, I think it's one of the best investments you could do. But if you're looking for actual growth, man, this DeFi world is going to definitely outperform even Bitcoin and all the other traditional markets ain't even no competition. So I couldn't agree more with him. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below about what Dan Moorhead said about that. Do you agree with that? Or do you think on the flip side, like Masari's CEO is saying, that DeFi is a bubble and is about to pop. So this guy, Ryan Selkis, predicted an upcoming demise for the decentralized finance space similar to what happened with initial coin offerings or ICOs. He said the DeFi bubble will pop sooner than people expect. We're nearing the apex of Ponzi economics, rug pulls, and yield hopping, and ETH fees are going to eat too heavily into non-well profits. In recent weeks, numerous DeFi projects have seemingly popped up out of nowhere, offering significant interest in loans as part of a complicated ecosystem spurring compounded gains. Some of these projects, however, position themselves as legitimate to gain investments before vanishing with investors' money, known in the industry as a rug pull. Sushi Swap served as one of the latest rug pulls, <laughs> albeit only partially so. The project's head, anonymously known as Chef Nami, ran off with a portion of the developer's fund, leaving Sam Bankman Fried, the CEO of crypto exchange FTX, in charge of Sushi's remains. So, again, you know, this article is. And, you know, in cryptos, things move so fast. We all know that uh, that's what I'll be covering next, that uh, Chef Nami has actually given back the money. However, even if he hadn't, which I didn't have a problem with him doing it, I thought the timing was probably wrong from a PR perspective, but it, he didn't take anyone's money. Everyone's money that they put in was still in the pools, still accruing interest, still doing what the protocol was intended to do. So uh, they, they have this wrong here. But anyway... He goes on to say that ICOs boomed for a while because everyone laughably thought there would be a coordinated utility token for every industry. DeFi is just one big pool of capital sloshing around a small group of insiders and mercenaries who will soon run out of victims to fleece. Selkis also said that he is not close to other opinions, although the current scene appears too lucrative for reality. The Masari's founder also said he is not against the whole movement in general. For what it's worth, he said, I love this experimentation. Like ICOs, yield farming, incentivized liquidity provisioning is a novel innovation in capital formation. Smart people are making a killing. But I don't recommend DeFi to most people because I don't recommend high stakes Vegas poker to fish. Huh, interesting. Let me know your thoughts, guys. What do you think? Which side of the coin do you position yourselves on? I always have to say that DeFi is a little different than the ICO, or I think a big difference between the ICO boom of 2017 because a lot of those companies were promising something that they couldn't offer right then and there. At least with DeFi, yes, there have been some uh, pop-ups that were kind of on the fraudulent side and have gone through the whole rug pull thing. Of course, that's going to be in any industry. But vast majority of these uh, products that you see in the DeFi space are actually products that are offering some type of benefit, right? Some type of yield. So I think this cat is out the bag and it is only going to exponentially grow from here. And you better be smart and be on that right side of the coin to benefit from the growth, in my opinion. But again, let me know your thoughts. Which side of the coin are you on with this whole DeFi uh, debate? Do you think it's a bubble and it will pop soon like Ryan is saying from Asari? 
or do you think that Dan Moorhead is more correct with his assessment of the DeFi industry and its growth potential? Lastly, speaking of DeFi, Sushi Swap. Yes, Chef Nami repents, gives back the 14 million in Ethereum, says the pseudonymous creator of Uniswap clone Sushi Swap has responded to allegations of running an exit scam on his users by turning around and giving his money back. So as you can see from his tweet that was uh, put out maybe about three, four hours ago, he says, Chef Nami that is, says, I have returned all $14 million worth of Ethereum back to the treasury and I will let the community decide how much I deserve as the original creator of SushiSwap in any currency, ETH, Sushi, etc., with any lockup schedule you wish. Okay, this is this is better. Again, was he entitled to that dev share? Yes. The optics of it, though, <laughs> was not the greatest. But it wasn't a scam. He didn't take anything from any any one person, as I stated, right? So uh, I think this is a better way to do it, though. So he says to everyone, I fucked up and I'm sorry. He says sushi migration went successfully and the journey of sushi swap began. I was fortunate to have a chance to help in the background and it was a very enjoyable moment in my life. Congrats for the successful migration. He goes on to say, I would like to apologize to everyone who I have caused troubles to. I was emotional. I was greedy. I was afraid. I made bad controversial decisions under pressure and it hurt everyone. I failed your expectation and I am sorry. So he goes on and on and on about this and the whole Twitter storm here. But uh, he does uh, spe more specifically um, thank SBF, which is the CEO of FTX. He thanked him for his help in getting Susie Swap back when I almost destroyed it. And uh, he again says here that he has returned the 14 million. So, you know, I think this is a great move, um, a better way of going about it. And I think he should get a decent chunk of that dev share. Honestly, I thought he should get 100% of it. That's just my opinion. He took the risk. He came up with the idea and it, and it caught on like wildfire. So, you know, is he to be to blame for that? I don't think so. I think he should take the lion's share of it. But now the community will decide how much he gets. And off of that news, Sushi did pop about 16, 17% earlier today. It's a little higher, actually. Traded all the way up to $2.88. Um, so currently trading at $2.71 at the time of recording. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I've been in the Discord room. I've been paying attention to this project uh solid project it is a solid project and there is a lot of potential for growth there they're going to be doing a lot of voting here coming up soon i'll be able to participate anyone with the tokens will be able to participate and guide the direction of this project going forward so it's uh it's, you know again from a pr perspective it was great that he did that i'm just looking to see when they're going to make a determination on capping the inflation on this token it is still printing at a thousand tokens per block ethereum block right now it's good for me. I mean, I'm able to, you know, uh, get great yield off of my farming. However, at some point, you're going to run into a scenario where there are more sellers or holders of the coins than there are people that are, have an appetite to buy the coin. And therefore, you're going to start to see a decline in the price of the token. So I think that should be one of the major things that's proposed and fixed sooner than later, right? Because, you know, it was supposed to be this Sunday before all this stuff happened. This Sunday, we're supposed to drop from a thousand tokens minted per block to 100 tokens minted per block, which is a 90% drop. So hypothetically, we should see, should have seen if that were to happen, a almost 10x move in the price of sushi at least back to highs of 14 15 dollars uh so we'll see what happens i think that's still in the works i just don't know when it's going to happen i don't think it's happening this sunday anymore i just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what's going on with sushi seems like every day something new and i promise i am done talking about this project for a little bit unless it's something real major it's been major news looks seems like every other day but uh that's pretty much it for today ladies and gents Hope you guys enjoyed it. And shout out to my man, Smooth Talking Hank, for the song request, Thundercat, Them Changes. If you guys found this video informative, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell to receive more videos like this. I'm out of here. Ow.